Hello, and welcome to a description of the differences between Moodle versions 1.9 and 2. I'm Scott Barnard, a technology trainer for the Office of Information Technologies Collaborative for Academic Technology Innovation, and I'll be your guide. In general, version 2 is quite similar to version 1.9, but there are some important differences, for the most part important improvements, in the new version of Moodle. I'll describe the most important differences between the two versions in a series of short videos. In one of the videos, I'll talk about navigation and layout, and we'll look at a new way to display blocks. I'll also introduce you to a couple of new blocks, the navigation and settings blocks, and show you new locations where you can place blocks. We have two videos that describe some similarities and some differences in the ways files are managed in the two versions of Moodle. And we'll briefly look at some interface changes in a video dealing with site administration. We'll also look at a great new way to restrict access to parts of your site until your students or participants complete other prerequisite activities. There are a number of changes in blocks, resources, and activities. Additional functionality is being added to our installation of Moodle almost on a monthly basis. Because the timing of these changes is going to extend into the academic year, the best way to get the latest information about new features and functionality is to visit the Moodle transition page at oit.umn.edu slash Moodle slash transition. When you're on that page, click the Google site Moodle upgrade and update link. For information about transitioning or upgrading to Moodle version 2, visit the Moodle support site at oit.umn.edu slash Moodle. 